so guys welcome back to my channel serious gamer today is for another um tutorial video on formations you know that's one um thing that makes um the game so fun um you don't play one thing um consistently or should I say constantly even if it works uh, sometimes you have to make the game more fun bring in more players into the game and and um, see how it goes because um um if you keep playing the game just like it's it progresses without adding any um, part of form by yourself to it and there is a tendency that you get bored along the line okay who are, are they coming for um this guy doesn't have much of it's not much of a prospect so i can let him go okay so um as i was saying um you have to use your by yourself you have to add some form to the game at times so that's why um we need to change formations um sometimes by, my, by ourselves even when the um, players are doing well uh, now that's an issue we have bellingham injured let me check my squad so um today we are talking about a new formation sorry didn't know i have this guy on the bench and i have this guy as well i have this guy as well so let's try to form a new formation for these guys that i just added into the team Oscar, Pedro. i'll be taking off one of the goalkeepers that's nice so let's form a new formation with these guys can you play here nope So um let's form a new formation. Okay. I don't know about this, but this is not looking straight to me. Not looking straight forward, so okay. Now I have three central backs. Okay. What's wrong with these guys? Okay. Yeah, I think it's better this way. So um Now the player rules is the next thing. Three stoppers at the back. One support striker, advanced playmaker. Okay. Target man. Sorry. Then we we'll have to check for the instructions. This not changed. I play an instruction that can work in should I say three different formations, so I don't have to change them always. Now let's see how this works. I'm expecting at least two goals if this formation is good. I'm expecting at least two goals from the team. Wow, already down. 
that doesn't mean i'm ruling off the formation anyway there is still um yeah just like i said there is a possibility of coming from behind and also it's the first time so i'm expecting anything from the teams but we should win them though nice now the idea of um, playing a support striker and uh, playing a target man and also playing wingers in the same game or even an advanced playmaker is that the whole team has the responsibility to score you know um these roles get to decide what um what the players draws in the pitch at certain times so when you don't give them a role where they think they uh, they have to score then um they will most likely um be looking to do almost um just passes in the games and all that so that becomes kind of an issue maybe on a day that your striker is having a bad day and can't contribute in the goals or something like that okay i think i have an issue with that position right now so i'll just have to do something like this put this one in the center and okay which other changes james is not in the game maybe i should let's play this um yeah risky game though Blanco is the only one remaining in the center. Let's go. So just like I was saying, um, everyone now has the um the the job to score and assist in games like this. So that's why you see games when um, goes from like three of my players at the same time. Even when um let's say one person is getting a hat trick, the other person still struggles to score. And you see um I've gotten lots of shots in the game, even though uh, most of them are off targets. And that's how I win my games. Most times I'm not looking for the clean sheets. If you watch my goalkeeper, I just um look for a moderately good one. My goalkeeper, I think, is at the rate of he has a rating of um eighty five, so it's not that um the best of keepers, but um just because um I'm not too interested in what the goalkeeper is doing, I'm interested in the attackers and my attacking midfielders as well, so that I win by scoring more goals. And each season, okay, for the past two seasons, I think I've been getting 200 plus goals. And this with different formations. But anyways, I, was, I will always advise, before um, you choose the formation for your team, look for the players that can play it and players that can perform the functions. Especially if you are if you have it as, um, as a plan to copy my formation as it is. Then um, you have to watch the rules, which I've shown. I've shown the rules um okay i will go back to that again sorry not this so the tactics so these are the player rules again as i have shown it you have players that can perform in these rules and also you look for the tactics um and how the players can fit into it see that i didn't make such a bad decision when i made um sterling a wide um attacker so he's been play he plays there very well even in real life that like i've been playing him off position at the front because okay in this game i don't know about real life in this game he scores a lot of goals too so these are just ideas um just find a way to uh, make these players to you know feel like um let the game be like you are playing it in real life and you're an actual manager and that's how you enjoy the game so um that'll be all for now see you guys in my next video thanks